What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about SoFi. I want to give you an overview of what the hell is happening, go over some of the data points and everything that you need to know for today. Before we get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So at the time of doing this video, it is down 4.12%. Market's been open roughly around 45 minutes. There has been no official news from the company itself. Rather, there was a couple SEC filings that was submitted after hours yesterday and then early this morning. So at 5 504 p.m. yesterday there was a 144 and that did insinuate the QIA right here was wanting to sell roughly around 19.8 million shares but it does show the approximate date of sale being yesterday so this is where I think just the 144 isn't really relevant because it's supposed to be in the future so the 144 is supposed to be submitted before the fact not after so definitely uh, i think this wasn't right so they rectified it and submitted a form 4 that was done this morning and that hits all the boxes so you have the name transaction code s so that is a straight up sell 19.8 million shares leaving zero shares available it was done at a average price of six dollars and 78 cents so obviously we now know why there was a lot of selling yesterday because a lot of these transactions would have been done on the secondary market as well as through the dark pool. So that's how they got an average of 678. And conveniently in my video yesterday, I did say a lot of entities were selling. So obviously now we know why. On social media, you see a lot of people saying that this isn't a big deal and whatever else. I do, this reminds me of exactly SoftBank. And yeah, they got out for various reasons, probably bad timing, but it did cause the stock to go down from around $8 when they initially announced it to $5. Of course, since then it did recover with the broader market, but I feel like people just have a backwards mentality. I bring up every single video for those of you that watch my channel, institutions because in order for any stock to really kind of stay up there and move higher you need support you need support from institutions and that's one thing that SoFi has always struggled with and this is why at the same time shorts can really manipulate SoFi however the hell they want because they don't have that institutional backing so a lot of people like I said are kind of saying that this isn't a big deal and are kind of jumping up and down I think that those people might just be in denial or something like that but what do I know right I'm not a financial advisor you guys do whatever the hell floats your boat but when it comes down to this, I just wanted to kind of show this to you. So under the strategic entities, you have this individual right here, 19.8 million shares, a lot more than Anthony. So 8.1, still very, very good. Not taking away from that. Anthony is a boss, especially with his shares, but still for obviously this entity to kind of sell out, not good. On a flip side, so that does leave one seat available for a board of directors or on the board of directors so that might be something positive but as I brought up in the past that's not really my forte I've never really overly cared on who the is sitting on the board yeah you kind of care to some regard but I feel like when I was just vaguely looking at SoFi there's been a lot of crazy crazy bulls that like dig deep into absolutely everything and all I have to say is that hasn't really turned out all that great for the stock itself. So yeah, it's good to kind of be aware of who is on the board, but do you have to do hours and hours of due diligence on that? In my opinion, I would say no. Right now, shorts are increasing a small amount. So 55,000 shares, 17.07% of the free flow is being shorted. That does work out to be 177.26 million shares overall are being shorted. Utilization 69.3%. So one thing that I'm curious on, especially right now, SoFi is recovering slightly, so sitting at $6.56. Is market makers and shorts going to try to suppress it below $5? And I'm going to talk on the technicals in a second, but that will be a very interesting thing because right now looking at the open interest on SoFi, you do see around 2000 in open interest at that 650 strike. So it's not anything crazy 
nothing maybe for shorts to really suppress it but in the end shorts have done more damage for less in the past so we'll just have to wait and see if they do try to suppress it it did bounce off of a very strong support so some people might be wondering why it is going up you can kind of see it was pounding at the door and that was right here so four dollars and 45 cents give or take so it bounced on the low of six dollars and 46 cents uh, if i said that right but it looks like this diamond support on this s1 did finally break after was it the fourth or fifth consecutive trade trading day or fifth attempt at uh, breaking below that. So right now, just watch for this $6.45 to hold. And like I said, just watch as well for shorts, just to see if they do suppress it, where it might trade between this S2 and 650. So again, we'll just have to wait and see. Probably that would occur in my opinion during more so power hours, so the last hour. So just watch for shorts and a lot of the manipulation and everything else. But I did actually mention a couple days back, in fact, on this day, so when it did have that nice spike up, that based on stochastic it is considered somewhat overbought now. So the first sign of weakness, whether it be SoFi specific or the broader market, you are going to see a significant overreaction sometimes overreaction and a sell-off uh, as a byproduct and lo and behold here we are so it's a very interesting stock nonetheless like i said i really do like sofi not in love with it like where i'm willing to continue to hold throughout the crazy volatility i still do swing trade it as i've disclosed with you guys in the past but I don't know. I really do not know at this stage in the game what will really rectify SoFi. I think just a lot of retail investors have a backwards mentality of what SoFi needs to do. I really like stocks that have institutional backing. So it hopefully SoFi's earnings, I can't say this upcoming earnings will be another home running and then institutions will be like, oh, this is now the seventh consecutive or eighth consecutive earnings. That is amazing. We're going to buy now. At this stage in the game, I think just institutions have something against SoFi and maybe it has to do as does stem down to the manipulation, just the sector that SoFi is in and its competitors. But I don't know. What's your thoughts on SoFi? I get it's a very frustrating stock, but do you think that this is a big deal or do you think that this is... I don't know. What's your thoughts on obviously one of the big strategic entities selling out? And what's your thoughts on a new board seat opening up? So what's your thoughts on all of that? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. And actually, my apologies. I just wanted to bring this up as well. So number of retail investors are selling out it could be associated to stop losses or whatever, but it does show that a good amount of selling is happening. And uh, just to give you an overview, these are some of the transactions as well on the secondary market. So a couple buys that happened so 2.41 million that was all done first thing and that no doubtably is why it did kind of stay higher but then obviously just fear took over so what's your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and with all that said appreciate all of you watching